Hey, welcome back my lad. This is Corbsy Outdoors. We are outdoors again. Uh, doing some more testing on the GoPro. I've changed a few settings around. We're over where uh, Lady Forrester has placed a lot of her, I don't know, memorabilia of some sort. They call her uh, Her Excellency. I don't know, I was never around during that time when there was royalty in Australia. Uh, I do believe there was a time when there was some royalty around because we are obviously influenced by the Union Jack in the UK, so... I, uh, I'm over here. At the, it's like a bit of the front side of the Botanical Gardens. You can sort of see us. Well, what street that is. Honestly, I'm not really... I'm not really versed with my streets. I'm more of like a I see it and I remember kind of type of person. Uh, 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 I'll show you guys a bit of stuff that's going on here. Look at this lad. I don't know what this was. But she's gone around and placed a whole bunch of these. They're like very old. The one right here. Don't know whose that is. Again, placed here by a lady forester in 1924, I think. Well, I'm just guessing it's 1924 because of the one I'm looking at right now, which is this one here. 1924 Unsure who was uh, around during that time I didn't even have a grandparent alive that was around during that time uh, I'll show you guys and Check this out lad Check this out So You may or may not be able to read all of that But it says place here by Her Excellency Lady Forrester. I think it says 18 something, but it's kind of all rubbed off now. 1800s, but you can't really see the correct, like, date on there anymore, but it's somewhere around the 1800s. Some lads over there. Doing some park work out. Some school kids over there. Don't know what they're doing. Take us through the gardens. And you can see what that looks like, but we're walking past the northern gate now. The sign there for people who might be interested. Welcome to the gardens, pleasant times. It's a bunch of pleasant times, and then obviously things you can and cannot do here. So no cycling, skating, no dogs, no footy balls, uh, and no scooters. I'm surprised it says no fishing. Very surprised that there's not a no fishing sign on there because all the water on the other side is trash. So I'll go show you again. The water around here is very polluted because of all the boats and stuff. So you try and stay away from the fish and the shellfish in the harbour. See where we're going. We've been taking you for a little cruise through here. We're just going to walk straight ahead here, do a little left take you all through uh, the botanical gardens for a second time but this time we're doing it on a different angle and uh, some different video settings uh, see if we can improve uh, the camera because I'm having a lot of issues because I have to use the shutter on like a on a setting I'm not very used to and it likes to change like the, the shadow on my camera at all times so unless I keep the Sun on a certain like behind my shoulder I feel like if we move the camera this way, we get a bit darker because now the sun is not where it should be to catch that shutter glare. So I think the shutter captures the glare from the sun. Obviously transforms it into what we're seeing now. So we'll see how we go. Take these sunnies off. We don't really re really need them right now, but we'll go for our little walk through here. I'll show you what we're looking at right now. There's more garden stuff here. see the water is just over there which is where we're gonna go I'll show you all that again so you can see the Walders Walders Edge fully filthy though I don't know if you'd <laughs> go for a swim in there because I won't I'm definitely not going for a swim in there government house tours we'll go show you uh, all this a sign over here this is the Fickers Virons which I showed you just the other day it's the one that comes up and just expands into this very beautiful tree uh, there's a sign here, Government House. That's the Government House Tours. Friday, Saturday and Sundays. 
10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Entry house by the free guided tours commencing half hour for 45 minute duration. Well, every half an hour to 45 minutes and you can register and stuff if you want to. So. Then those QR things you can scan. I like the signs around here. They sort of tell you where to go and then you'll get there within that certain time. So Sydney Opera House, that's a six minute trek to get you there. And then you've got these ones again. Palm Grove Centre. Pretty cool. All right. Oh, we got a fella over there, he's practicing some jazz. He had his, uh, what do you call those? What do you call that? Is it a saxophone? No. It's a flute. I don't know what that is. Something cool there. So people like to do lunch breaks and all that stuff in the city. They'll come around here into the park and you can see like down there, that's where there's more people. They all like to party around here lunchtime party on that under the tree he's having himself a good feed Let's see how he goes we'll get down to the water's edge in probably like five or ten minutes depending how quick i can walk this but there's another nice cool looking tree it's quite large move the camera forward so you can see it's a big one this one it spans the whole i think they cut most of it off so we could actually walk through here yeah, there is a couple of branches missing. Yeah, it's like very high up there. Look at that. So they've gotten rid of this branch and then stuck a sign on it. Lovely eucalyptus tree. There's no koalas in it though, but for those who are wondering, this is the eucalyptus my, my denny. It's the Maiden's Gum, New South Wales. Uh, Victoria south from Shoalhaven River Gippsland Victoria so if you're wondering where you find koalas this is the trees they like and they'll eat these leaves so if you're wondering if you're wondering what koalas like to eat they like to eat these leaves I'll show you it's like full eucalyptus leaf you can take these and heal your wounds so, while the bears eat doesn't smell very eucalyptusy. I don't know. But that's the eucalyptus tree. If you remember yesterday we walked up that way to, to get out when the battery was dying. But it should be better this time. I've got the GoPro battery in this time and not the Telson. <sighs> Do not recommend a Telson battery. Oh my god, it lasted like half an hour and then it was dead. I'm like, oh my god lad, <laughs> what am I meant to do with half an hour of battery? <laughs> So I've got the spare Telson in my pocket somewhere in case the GoPro one runs out, but the GoPro, I doubt it's going to run out real quick. I think I could pull a couple of hours out of this at least. Plus the memory card's big enough to do four hours of filming. So. I'll take us down to the duck pond, it's just down there. It's like very clear water. And we'll dunk the GoPro in there so you can see what I'm talking about. Like it's so clear, you can see everything in there compared to the to the harbour water and all the other water around here it's like probably the cleanest i don't think the ducks live in there either so they don't poop and shit and bring their fish and guts and all that kind of stuff around but it is probably the cleanest water around here i reckon don't think you'll find it any cleaner there's another bin chicken over there the old ibis of australia we love them the old bin chicken. Look at him. Just munching. Don't really care much for humans. They've been around us for so long now that they're just used to it. Some of them sometimes they come up and try and snatch your food straight out of your hand. It's happened to me before. I'm trying to eat a sandwich and the next minute a bin chicken's right next to you.
and that's as that so clear you can like see through everything in here look at that like little creatures in there i don't know what's in there though it's like I had to uh, clean the camera from the water, otherwise it would have, the sound and audio wouldn't have sounded too great for us. But yeah, it's going to get a bit windy because we are now like there's not much to break down wind, and we're like right next to the water. So I'll do my best to try and talk loud enough so you all can hear me and put the sunnies on. Cause going to get a bit sunny out here. Let's see, that's a big tree that one. See how tall that is? Look how tall that tree is. Almost the soils of one of them skyscrapers. Just skyscraping tree. You <laughs> can't skyscrape into trees. Check this out. Again, for those that like to follow Rocket on YouTube, he's, he was. This is where he was on his boat. So, if I was in work that day, I probably could have seen him from my office, but I don't know if I was working when he was filming. Don't know if he was working, there's a helicopter up there, look at that. Don't know where it's going. I know you guys are like riding the wind now, so it's gonna be very windy. Very windy day today. It's like super windy. Killing it. He's, he's sweating like he's just gotten out of a shower. <laughs> that guy's sweating so much, man. It spins me out. Like, how hectic some people sweat. Like, I only sweat in like certain areas of my body, and then other areas I don't sweat at all. It's kind of weird. And everyone else is just like, man, that guy was like head to toe. He was head to toe sweating. Got the big sweats. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, I wonder what they're doing over there. No idea what they're doing over there. Something going on. But yes, you will notice a lot of people do like to do a bit of jogging around here. <laughs> this is Fitness Central. <laughs> so everyone's just into fitness now. I remember early 2000s, only a selective amount of people were into fitness. So now they all just do it. I'd say there's probably like 70% that probably never touched fitness until they came to the big hype thing. windbreakers around here so it won't be very <laughs> there's another big tree over there boats out there no there is stuff coming over there yeah I've got a boat I'll show you my boat one day, but it's not really an ocean type of boat. I spent all this money on the floorboards of my boat, it doesn't really work anymore. So, floorboards are supposed to be weatherproof. It wasn't really much weatherproof. I spent, I think, $700 fixing the flooring on my, on my boat and then left it at my stepfather's place. Went back there after like a year of holidaying stuff, and then when I saw the boat and I saw the floor, I was just like, this is. It's not gonna work. Just not gonna work. But for the, we're coming around a bend now. So I'll show you all what the bend looks like coming out from this way. 
as you can see the lovely Opera House Sydney Opera House there and just behind it you can see the Harbour Bridge with the native Aboriginal flag and the Australian flag which is pretty cool and then there's like a little water watching thing over here I think it's one of the money operated ones from back in the day I think my mum tried to bring me here to have a look at these and then you put a coin in it so it's like a it's like a little coin slot you'll chuck I think it's a 10 cent piece and then you'll look through there I don't know if you didn't see anything but you'll look through that and then that'll open up and then it'll allow you to like sort of zoom in on the harbour and stuff and look around which is pretty cool it says insert it uh, it's two dollars see here Right there. Insert a two dollar coin only and then the money gets cleared out daily. Like crap. Insert the two dollar coin. I mean that was two dollars. I was paying two dollars. I mean you can just look at it like this. You can pay two dollars for a little bit of zoom. And it, like who else's eyes have been stuck on that? What if you get pink eye? We don't want no pink eye. Look at these eyes. What if these eyes get pink eye? That's no good. That's no good at all. We don't want no pink eye around here. That's like a cool thing up there. I don't get up there. Yeah, Opera House again. It's her right there. Opera! Oh, look, it's the range in me person that looks after a uh, botanical garden we'll drive around make sure everyone uh, you know all the plants and everything's all watered looking nice they do all that kind of stuff for us but, which is nice we are coming up to the opera house now which is pretty cool yeah even closer now if you've never seen it's right there so you get to like walk around it's crazy how close you know like a lot of us are with work and stuff but all the big things in australia all the big ones gelato look it's a coffee if you like some coffee milkshakes or slushies you can get one from there well i do like a milkshake or a slushy but we're not getting one today we're not getting one today, okay? Very, uh, I don't know. Sometimes I'll eat and drink things, other times not so much. You can't cycle around here, no bikes. No bikes around here. Oh, there's a little puppy dog over there, look at it. It's a little puppy dog. It's a little puppy. It's a little puppy. It's a little puppy. It's a little puppy. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> ah, as we walk past it, you'll see it anyway. Cause I've got you on side on because the wind's behind me. Kind of hoping that it breaks the wind a bit more. The stairs going up there. I don't know where that goes. I might go up there one day. But all the all the running lads are running up there. Working hard. They're working hard out here. I don't know where that goes actually. Do you um, see? Well, the opera house right up there. Pretty cool. The bridge up there, you can do the bridge walks and things. So I'll take you guys over there in the next couple of days because there's a gym on the other side of that bridge. And that's the like a nice outdoor gym, pretty good view. You get like a good view of like most of the harbour and stuff I'm pretty sure so well we'll go up there as well I'll take you for a cruise down there you can see what that looks like because that's pretty neat and then um, we can sort of expand from there because so I'm just going to go around random outdoor places in Australia show you all the outdoors out there touching grass and stuff like we should be we're working the calves up there Pump it lads, pump it. Pump the carbs. <laughs> All the Asians are looking at it. 
<laughs> all the all the Asian ladies. All the Asian ladies are they perving on the boys. <laughs> so good, eh? Pump it boys, pump it. <laughs> yeah. And they're pumping it high up there. <laughs> it's so good. Get a bit more closer to the water's edge for you so you can see. But come on, man, how do you beat half of the stuff out here? And if you're one of those like adventure nuts and things, you'd love it out here. I don't recommend going to w, WA though. If you want to go to Western Australia, it's best in winter time when there's no flies. But if you go in the summertime, have lots of flies and ferry there's another ferry there I was on one of those ferries when I first come to Australia so what that ferry does is it takes you around to all the big you know big things of the Australian harbour show you all the opera house and the, that thing in the island honestly I don't know what half the crap's called around here never showed real big interest in it like my big interest has always just been having fun and keeping to myself you find odd because I'm not much of a people person <laughs> here I am making videos for people which is kind of weird like I don't I don't really enjoy the company of large crowds and things like that so you won't see me clubbing partying but you can see there's like nice restaurants around here they all span around the whole place so almost every second shop is a restaurant and then uh, are they spraying hum humidifiers? Is that a humidifier? There's a mist coming down off this stuff. Check it out. Like they're spraying like a mist. It's like a fine mist. I'm gonna walk through it. Oh, it's like water. It's like a it's like a, a, a faint spray of water. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Yeah, it's like water. <laughs> So they're spraying like water out of there, like like a misty type of water and it keeps all their patrons cool. That's what you get, huh? that's how hot it gets around here. That's how, that's how you know when when it's real hot around here. Oh look, it's the Thunder Jets just over there. Check it out. A lot of seaweed. A lot of seaweed, check it out. Polarized. Probably polarize you guys a bit more properly as I put my sunnies on you, and this side of my sunnies has got a big crack in it, so it doesn't really work properly. So, yeah, that's the harbor. It's only, it's only a quarter of it, there's more on the other side. So, when you go around that bend, so there's like a like a little bend that goes around as well as like another channel there. So, when you go into that channel, there's more things in there, there's more stuff around the bend. Like it's it's quite large and in the next couple of weeks I'll take you all through the videos to show you. And we'll see what we can do, huh? But it's been a good what 15 minutes of continuous recording now. So I feel like this battery might hold up for a bit, but when you're looking at the demand, how hot it is, more jet boating stuff. You've got, there's the jet boat there. Next ride is at 2, 2 p.m. Next ride at 2 p.m. So they have them quite often, quite regularly. So if you want to go onto one of these, these massive jet boats, go for a big spin out. It's the ferry from Manly. So every, every now and again, the, that ferry will go over that way way over the water and then go pick up the people at Manly and then bring them back this way so the ice cream shop right there if you like ice cream it's called Basking Robin's ice cream so if you're, you're a very hot day you want some ice cream go and hit Baskin's up go get yourself some some mad ice cream check this out She's so fluoro, look at her. She's so fluoro. 
And that one. Oh, there's so many fluoro ones. Look at them. You can just see them standing out. That's so cool. Huh? <laughs> so good. All right. Well, that's my street over there. So go for a stroll towards it, and then I'll see you all in the next one. As usual, you know how it goes. If any of you has made it this far into the video, highly appreciated that you actually stuck around for that long. We'll get out the wind because this wind's a bit hectic. Yeah, so if any of you stuck around for that long, very much appreciated. Obviously, much love to you all. We'll see you in the next one. Don't do anything you shouldn't be doing. And uh, stay sassy.